everyone my name is queen blessing you be popularly known as black queen i'm a nollywood actress and a filmmaker i'm the president and founder of queen blessing foundation and the vice president of association of movie producers nigeria this morning i just want to talk about the primaries pdp primaries yesterday you know i was on facebook we we're just you know chatting across so many comments that were coming from different different posts and everything i remember telling somebody i said see i think we'll not be your mates he's going to win that primary and the person was saying, no, it's wicked. Oh, that did you see all the J5 that came all the way from River State with him, the, a branded J5 with his pictures all over the place and everything and everything. That Atiku didn't do all that because he didn't have money. I said, excuse me. <laughs> it's not everybody that likes to show. Wike is a man that likes to show. So it's possible that Atiku's uh, vehicles that were branded were also more than that. Oh, it was like, oh, no, if they were like that, they would have shown it. And I'm like, okay. At one thing for me to know why I always say that the Hausa man loved themselves a lot. For instance, I speak Hausa high school in the north. If I'm going, I live in Uwodi Oniri, so when I'm coming back from anywhere, I stop at, I, I hardly enter the market. So I stop at my 12 or by, as I'm driving, I'll buy yam, buy this and buy that. When I speak Hausa like this, they will just give me instantly good price or instantly I become their sister. Let me even give you a story. A few days, I think two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I went to the passport office to collect my passport. You know, I needed the passport so desperately. And you know, these days, what is happening with passports? <laughs> passport don't turn to visa itself. You know, so that day I decided I'm not going to leave there until they give me my passport. So I was there till about, I left there at 6.30. That was when they gave it to me. So there's this couple, um, a pregnant woman and the husband. They are going for, to America to for medical checkup or for medicals or whatever so they have a document to cover for that and they have been coming 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 there their passport is not ready according to them that there's no um sleep for for five um, for 32 pages you know i did the hunt the 10 the, the, the 62 page for 10 years anyway so and so when they were going to leave there's this house a man that told them to go back inside and insist on seeing the controller that they usually have um some some extra or some reserves for emergency cases which i kind of agree it's, it's it's very good of them you know so they told them to go inside that if the controller sees the document they want to travel with medical issue that they will, they're going to make their case an exceptional so they came back inside so when they came to tell me i said are ah, you people no go again they said ah, so so person one house man i said okay so they went inside you know, when they got inside, there's another house man and a Yoruba man and a woman there. A Yoruba woman, Yoruba man, and one house man. So they asked them, what are you coming to do? They said they wanted to see the controller and everything and everything. So the Yoruba woman said, oh, I've been seeing you people outside. And every you people should go inside and, and see the woman. The Yoruba man there said, no, they cannot go. That why do they want to see the woman? They explained. Then the man now said, you that you want to go with your wife. It's your wife that has the emergency case. Why do you want to go with your wife? Now you won't go born the picking. I've been, you be doctor. You know, all those kinds of things. So the man did not let him enter. And apparently it's like between the three of them, there, the Hausa man and the Yoruba woman. It's like that Yoruba man it has a higher rank. So they couldn't go against, you know how it is with uniform people. They couldn't go against his um, choice to let them in. So they came back outside. The man was furious. Can you imagine? It's even a Yoruba man like me that hindered me from entering. It was a, an Hausa man that encouraged me to come and see the controller. The Hausa man there even agreed I should enter. And the Yoruba woman there, she had human sympathy. Agreed, you know? And he was just talking, was so frustrated. And I told him, I said, look, the day I came for scanning, I just spoke Hausa. Immediately, they carried me sit down without taking one naira from me. They scanned me. I left. You know, the doors that speaking languages can open for you. And it's it's the best. If you meet an awesome man, especially when you are also his religion, you understand? So when somebody say, oh, uh, so later, later, I think Tambua then stepped down for Atiku. And some people were saying, oh, Wike is his friend. Why will he betray him? Look, an awesome man will choose his brother over you at any time. At any time without thinking twice. Not just his brother from the same tribe. They even... They, they even practice the same religion they will never put you first that is one thing even if they fight they will go and fight later and for me i, I didn't see anything bad tambua did he probably saw that that's where the, the the vote is going to swing yes i want to agree that we can put up a good fight i mean look at those numbers look at those numbers probably really didn't 
and um, win because some people betrayed him. Because one thing you need to also know, Hausas, it's difficult for you to see an Hausa man betray an Hausa man. But we, we go, they chop ourselves like they blow breeze put. That's the truth. Some people could have entered that week case J5, collect his money, and still come and vote Atiku or vote Saraki. Because Saraki also did quite good. You know, those were the three people leading. Saraki, a week and then Atiku won. You know, what am I trying to say? For us to win election, we must come together. Election is a game of number. Apart from being a game of number, we must try to put ourselves first. Yes, we are one Nigeria, but the Hausa man does not believe in that. The Hausa man believes my brother come first, and that is what should matter. My brother should actually come first. We can't be speaking the same language and, and we are killing ourselves. Then they are teaming up. When it comes to a strong bond, when it comes to brotherly bond, they, the Hausa man has it. When it comes to when you can just speak their language, even though you are not from their place, how some man has that bond. You will automatically bond with you. When it comes to a lot of children, how some man get them. When it comes to a lot of wives, then get them. So when you say election is a game of number, they are already in the winning team. They are already winning. It doesn't matter whether the person that is being voted for is good enough. It is democracy. It is where the majority swing to that the person is going to emerge as a winner. Whether it's good or be just, just like what happened to us in 2015 and 2019, when we saw a lot of people, how many of us even in this area vote? I've made this video, it's how it's paining me. I've made this video severally. How many of us that have PVC votes? How many of us have PVC? How many of us even have PVCs for the right reason? A lot of us have PVC because we want to use it as an ID card. Not because we want to vote, we don't care. You'll be talking to somebody, say, I beg, I beg, now waiting they like it, they do anyway, anybody where they bring, make it just favor us. We now know go vote for waiting. Why I go waste my time, go they vote. You know, imagine and you want a good country. You want a good country. You know, and then some, some people were like, Oh, Peter will be PDP didn't do well. Look, Peter will be left. If he had not left, what makes him think he won't have won the primaries? Peter Obio was only interested to run under PDP for president because he thought that they, would, they, were, they, they were going to zone it, you know, to uh, uh, his side. Immediately, he found out that they were not going to zone anymore. Everybody should go solo. He decided to just leave. He, I don't agree with him leaving. At least, even if he didn't get uh, president, should have been able to get VP slot. And that would have given us a closer chance to taking a shot at presidency. But he decided to leave and went to the Labour Party. I wish him well anyway. If it will be win election today, I know he will be a fantastic president. As it is right now, the, the, the two uh, candidates we have so far, Peter will be Labour. They've already, I think they've already declared him presidential candidate. If not, I don't, I don't know if they've done their primaries, you know. And I think he's unopposed. I mean, it's going to be only him. Then right now, PDP has also given us articles. I want to see what APC is going to give us. Because at the end of the day, it's from what these parties give us that we're going to vote from. Everybody should shine their eye. Don't vote for people that are going to entice you with Tenten Kobo. It is high time we do the right thing. I have been voting since I turned 18 and I will continue to vote. Whether the person I voted for wins or not. I mean, it's not every uh, since I started voting, it's not all the time that the person I voted for didn't win now. There were times I voted for people. I voted Obasanjo, he won. I voted Yaradua, he won. I voted Jonathan, he didn't. I voted Atiku 2019, he also didn't. So not be every time I don't lose. I have voted people that, uh, you know, didn't win for one reason or the other because it's majority that carries the vote at the end of the day. And that's why I keep singing. It is majority. These people are already winning us by their population. And then for us to be able to meet up with them and catch up and even overtake them, is that we must do the right thing. We are few of us, and still we are not serious. Only what we do is to come and sit on social media and be shouting Peter Obi, yeah, this one, that one. Now, so you go say win election. A lot of us search your heart that is shouting Peter Obi, Peter Obi, do you have PVC? There is still time. Go to your local government and register and collect your PVC. I love you guys.